Good morning. Hello. So today you are going to get a little bit of an explanation from Mr. Morales and Mr. Herring. So we are starting a project this week uh, off the Battle of the Alamo. And now you may see this cool little booklet I have. You're going to make this. And we're going to show you how. So this week, what you're going to need, you're going to need two pieces of paper. Preferably, if you can get your hands on printer paper, awesome. If not, notebook paper will work. Okay, so you're going to take your uh, paper and put it lengthwise this way. You're going to grab, oh, here we go. You're going to grab both ends lengthwise. You're going to fold. And you're going to crease them down like that. And then you're going to take it lengthwise again, both ends, and you're going to fold it. Do this as evenly as possible because that's going to matter. Now, once you have your booklet like this, you know, it can unfold, right? We're not unfolding it. What we're going to do, we're going to take a stapler. If you don't, this is a stapler, this is paper. If you don't have a stapler, that's okay. You can use tape, but I would really recommend if you have a stapler, use it. And what you're going to do, so here is the end that opens up to all the, all the pages. You don't want to staple this end, okay? Because then you'll have a lot more work to do. Take the end that is folded around, right? See, can't see the individual pieces. So we're going to fold that end and we're going to staple it. And think one two two staples should work and now you're like well mr herring what do we do now you're gonna need one more piece of equipment some scissors and you're gonna take those scissors and hopefully not staple too close to the edge like mr herring did also hopefully you cut better than mr herring Okay, so now we have a booklet. See, each page opens up. Now, Mr. Morales is going to show you what it's going to, what we're going to start doing to it afterwards. Okay, all right, a little switcheroo. Okay, so as you can see, I have my booklet, right? Battle of the Alamo. So for each one, uh, and I'm going to use the finished product uh, because that'll just be a little easier. Um, so for each day, as you can see, there are dates, right? So these dates line up directly with the Battle of the Alamo. So on the back of the first page, it's February 23rd, 1836. And what we are going to do is we are going to illustrate or draw what happened on those days also on each of these days okay and well i mean how are we gonna so, know well how are we gonna know now that's a good question that you guys had that you just asked me and the, the way we are going to know is i well we will um, provide a site in the pro in the project um <laughs> class assignment that will actually show you what happened on each day. And it'll say day one, February 23rd, 1836. It'll say day two, February 24th, 1836. So you need to make sure that you write your date at the top, okay? And you don't have to actually do the box like this. You can if you want to, but the main thing is your illustration, right? So as we're working on this project, we will tell you daily what date and which day of the Battle of the Alamo you are going to work on that day, okay? Yep. And we will ask for um, check-ins as we're working on it because it is 13 days. We might not take 13 days to do the project, but we will 
um, check in and make sure that you are making progress on your work. And we want to make sure that you understand it as well. Um, and so when we catch that early, then it just makes everybody's life easier, right? What am I missing? Uh, guys, so there may be a few events that happen on specific days. Choose one. You do not have to draw three pictures to represent three events. For each date, draw one event. It's okay if there were like five things that happened that day. Draw one of those. Yeah. And we'll, we'll get it as long as you have your date at the top and your illustration that shows what's going on. Absolutely. Um, make it your own. Be creative. Use a lot of color. Use a lot of colors, guys. We, yeah. we, we have some party poopers who think all they have to do is draw with pencil. Don't do that. No, it's so boring. So boring. Um, so make sure that you are capturing what happens on that day. Um, like Mr. Herring said, one of the events that happened on that day um, that you will read about. And... Um, when we ask for you to submit a picture, submit a picture. I think that's it. I think we're yep. good. Sounds good to me. And my phone's ringing. Okay, Tate's calling me. All right, guys. Uh, that's all we have. Um, so you guys have a great day. Um, please ask us if you, or please ask us if you have any questions. All right. And as always, high five.